I'll start. Good evening, everyone. This is no more in front of you. Today, I am discussing about hydraulic missions. First of all, what is meant by mission? Mission means it is a device which converts one form of energy into another form of energy. The hydraulic missions means so which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy or electrical en energy into mechanical energy. So instead of these, so the process is the hydraulic energy which converts into the mechanical energy. and that mechanical energy is again converted into electrical energy or either the electrical energy is converted into mechanical energy and that mechanical energy is converted into hydraulic energy this hydraulic machines we have so two types of devices the first one is turbine and second one is pumps when coming to the turbines turbine is the machine which converts hydraulic energy into the mechanical energy and mechanical energy into electrical energy when coming to the pumps it converts electrical energy into mechanical energy and mechanical energy is converted into hydraulic energy so in this process so these turbines are very very useful for nearer to the hydro power plants so at the time of the pen start we are placed different types of turbines so these turbines are classified into according to their specifications we are having different types of turbines those turbines are alternator turbine transistor turbine and capillary turbine with these turbines at regular usages so we are using right now is transistor turbine in transistor turbine we are having old transistor turbine and new transistor turbine <coughs> so in this process at the construction of the hydro power plants we are having number of areas so in this process so first of all we go so first of all we want to construct a hydro power plant so the first thing is so how much area it will be needed next one what is the capacity or what is the storage process of the water or river or it is a reservoir so after completion of the after find outing the area then we'll construct a dam in that dam we'll go for the regular process afterwards we'll construct the pen stack so pen stack is a long passage which gives the water from inlet to outlet at the position of the outlet process we are fixing the turbine so this type of turbine should be needed at that particular position is to is to be mentioned according to the position of the turbines and according to the height of the areas okay so while coming to this so these turbines are classified in number of positions the first thing is so these turbines are classified so we are having two types of regular turbines that is impulse turbine and reaction turbine so the impulse turbines means so throughout the process which has the available energy which, which is issued at that that particular positions that should be kinematic energy while coming to the reaction turbines in that reaction turbine we are, we are having two types of energies that is pressure energy and should be potential energy so this pressure energy and potential energy is totally converted into kinetic energy at throughout the level it's known as reaction turbines so this impulse turbine it comes under <coughs> excuse me sir so this impulse turbines is comes under the Alternator turbine and the reaction turbine. In that reaction turbine, we are having transistor turbine and capillary turbine. So we are having different types of flows according to the positions of the turbine shaft. Those flows are tangential flow, axial flow, radial flow, and mixed flow. So that means, so this is the shaft. So for this shaft, so we are fixing a turbine. So so turbine is in circular positions. So for that particular circular positions. if the water penetrates through the through the water through the turbine runner then it is known as tangential flow so this tangential flow is mentioned for alternator turbine so for transistor turbine the flow is in mixed positions because the process is in radial curve positions so here in transistor turbine we are we, right now we are using new transistor turbines so at the type of the capillary turbines the shaft should be produced in the vertical positions while coming to the alternator turbine it should be with parallel to the surfaces while coming to the fans it will be axial while coming to the pumps we are having two types of pumps are there first one is reciprocating pump and second one is centrifugal pumps so these pumps will be discussed in the next coming classes so while coming to the alternator turbines so we want to calculate the efficiency of the turbines so what are the turbines so we have three types of turbines so three types of turbine should be used whatever the section we are finding then 
So for Pelton meter by at which condition the Pelton meter bend should be used? So Francis turbine at what particular position and what particular area the Francis turbine should be used? While coming to the Kepler, at where is the so what is the perfect place to be used? So if if they want the Pelton meter bend, if we want to use the Pelton meter by, so the conditions are we want high height and the requirement is flow discharge and the turbine will be rotated in minimum speed. While coming to the Francis turbine, so it has less amount of head that is lower reservoir that is uh, less reservoir then the force is very very less and uh, the discharge is moderate. While coming to the Kepler turbines, we are having low heads high discharges. That means we are balancing the inputs and outputs. So with this with these aspects, we are finding the efficiency of the turbine. That means how much power it will develop, it will deliver at the time of when what so what is the amount of the water we are taking. So at that particular question, we are finding the efficiencies. We have three types of efficiencies. First one is mechanical efficiency, second one is hydraulic efficiency, and third one is overall efficiency. So mechanical efficiency, so hydraulic efficiency, and overall efficiency. So what are the process it may be, but the formula is same. That is output by input according to their considerations. So due to this efficiencies, we are finding so how much wastage of water is going on through the pen stacks. So if we give hundred percent of water as an inlet, we are getting only ninety percent. So these these ten percent will goes under negligible losses. Those losses is known as minor losses. So minor losses is nothing but so the leakages some sudden expansions, some contractions, whatever area it will be. So these type of losses should be reduced now. So because at that particular question, if you give 100% of the water as inlet, so we are we are losing 10% of the water. So at the time of the design, so the pen stack should be flexible, but it doesn't give any losses of the water. So we want to take care of the exact joints and the length of the pen stocks. So up now I will complete my session and next I will explain about the centrifugal pumps. Thank you.